a two-length crushing winner against 20 claimers two starts ago. So logic would say the class relief should help. Sim Brown's going to need some help too because he's just spotted the field five lengths. Sim Brown gapped off. Slow start as well for the eight. Feisty love. Here they come. They're off and trotting in a big start out in post seven. Davis starts up the engine on a crown for Lindy Early. Roland Seahorse going to step out with him now. From the outside is I'll Be There. From the inside, Famous Mark up into the top four. Snoop Sorceress lands a rail seat from in fifth as they drive into the turn. Or the advantage floating out from in sixth now. Seventh going to shoot through at the inside as they track towards that opening quarter marker is Feisty Love. Then it's back to Sim Brown who had that problematic start. Floating up on the outside from an eighth is Sim Brown. And Master Builder studies eight foes up in front of him and Condren lost Sim Brown. Now Sim Brown is off stride, so they move across the back stretch, rushing up to grab the racetrack. There the outside is I'll be there as he'll take charge for Keith Oliver. Into the pocket spot goes Roland Seahorse from in second, driving up fast to the outside third. Here comes Worthy Advantage up to challenge. I'll be there. The battle's on here as Keith Oliver shows his charge, the sword. Worthy Advantage on the outside second. Half mile speed of 57 seconds flat. They're going to battle into the far turn. I'll be there has got rail control. Popping the Plugs is Oliver now as they go into the final turn. Where the advantage on the outside, second back into third is Roland Seahorse. Famous Mark is fourth now, then a gap of three lengths back to Snoop Sorceress from in fifth. Sixth as they trot around that final turn is Feisty Love. Gearing up from the backfield, seventh comes Master Builder. They're on their way to three quarters, and it's I'll Be There. Opening up now by a pair of lengths. Where the advantage on the outside begins to back away. A pocket sitting third, now second Roland Seahorse. And kicked up off cover comes the veteran Famous Mark now. Three quarters in 126. Oliver goes to work on I'll Be There. From the pocket spot is Roland Seahorse. And here comes Famous Mark. And those 10-year-old legs of his start rolling in deep stretch for Jameson. And Famous Mark on the outside is an upset-minded individual tonight. It is Famous Mark. Famous Mark trots clear. Deep stretch break by Master Builder who was getting a late rally going. Famous Mark chalks up career win 55 in 155 and 2. Numbers on the board for the third race. Top four finishers here. One, four, nine, and eight. Famous Mark, the winner. He makes his way back to victory lane. Ten-year-old son of Famously out of the Corleone mare, R. Marquis Angel. Owned by Paul McLean of Chelmsford and Jerry Gauthier of Azilda. Paul does the training. Jody Jameson in the bike for the winning drive. Famous Mark with his fifth win in 18 starts this year. And he clicks in 155, two-fifths, pulling off the nine-to-one upset. We had a claim from race three, five Sim Brown for $15,000 going to the Denner Bend Stable and trainer Carmen Osiello. Rocco Osiello shares ownership on five Sim Brown now. Again, Denner Bend Stable, Rocco Osiello, the claimants, and the trotter headed to the stable, the trainer Carmen Osiello.